Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Couch today I thought we would compare Chewbacca's seeing as I have a Black Series and an original Kenner version of him. So obviously there's <laughs> so much more detailing on the Black Series, let's check it out. On here you can see his bandolier is just painted on. Here you can see it is a separate thing that does slip off if you want, or if you're not careful rather, let's pop that there. Now you see Chewie's pouch here. On that one again much more detailing on here it is like an actual satchel let's just go from the back you see of course so much more detailing of his fur than on this one which is what one two three four five bits of plastic this is multiple bits of um, plastic put together and of course the detailing on his face is fantastic it's so such a great likeness and here as well, it's not such a great likeness, but it captures uh, the spirit of Chewie and the personification of him. Vast differences in the colours, of course. The legs and arms are different from the body and head. I assume that was something that happened during the casting process when they were making it, because I think all of them have that issue. Now, obviously, this one, only his arms and legs move. This one, Chewie moves just about everywhere-ish. Uh, it's going to prove me wrong now. Uh, let's see, and he does move in the middle, but that's when his bandolier slips off. So let's pop that back up there. Uh, it's almost like he's wearing flares here, isn't it? The way the fur goes over his feet, whereas here they're just one single piece of plastic, of course. But yes, it's great to see the two of them together. I guess this is essentially that Chewie and his son Lumpawaru, who's no longer called Lumpy in the canon, he's now called Waru, which is much better, of course. Seeing as they're starting to canonise things from the holiday special, make sure he doesn't have an embarrassing name. But yes, these two fantastic pieces. Chewie, such an amazing character. You would have thought when you first saw he's just going to be sort of like wealthy type thing. He'd be very, very scary. While he's very fearsome, he's also very gentle as well. As we see in the Chewbacca comic, of course, he will help you if he thinks uh, you're worthy enough. Because Wookiees have that huge sense of honour, don't they? And um, Chewie was actually was a navigator in the Klotovac uh, Spacers Guild on um, Kashyyyk. Then the ones they had all the knowledge of secret hyperspace lanes. Very useful for Han Solo when Chewie became his co-pilot. And of course, after the occupation of Kashyyyk, all that knowledge was turned over to the Empire, it was stolen by the Empire, so they could build their own hyperspace routes for the Imperial Navy. But yes, I thought we'd just have a look at the two of them, the detailing on Chewie's face on this. It's just fantastic. And this is great as well. I mean, I love this. The sentimental value this has is just priceless. As I'm sure all of you guys are the same with your own original Kenner figures. But yes, just time to check out uh, Wookiees Compared. Wookiescompared.com. It's like compare the meerkat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Although, worst consequences if you don't keep up your insurance payments, I expect. But yes, there you go. That's just Chewy and Little Chewy. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion about upcoming topics you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.